Hey guys, Ben with Descent Off-Road. We finally got our 2024 Land Cruiser 250. This one is a 1958 edition. Um, we actually had a first edition on order. It's been stuck on a quality hold, so we found this one locally, picked it up, and we're eager to, to get working on it. All right, so we didn't waste any time getting started on modification. So first thing was to see if we could stuff some 35 inch tires under on stock suspension. Um, Toyota's given us some pretty big wheel wells on these new platforms, so we decided to give it a go. Uh, a lot of people skeptical on how we did it and a lot of questions on how we did it, and it was actually quite simple. Uh, tire size, wheel offset combo is a huge part of making these fit. Um, so we got a Nitto Ridge, or Trail Grappler, sorry, that uh, in a 35 11 and a half R18, which is not a very common size. Um, makes it actually quite easy to fit a 35 on these new platforms. The 12 and a half inch wide tires, we'd have to do a lot more trimming. Uh, paired with that is an Icon Recon SLX. It's a 18 by nine wide, but a plus 40 offset. So that's gonna bring the tire in, um, allow this tire to tuck inside the wheel well versus sticking out and rubbing these, these uh, outer trim pieces. So with that, we actually had to do very little trimming. Uh, we, and we, just, we just flexed it out, we hit bump stops, we had no rubbing anywhere. We took a tiny bit off this corner. Toyota's giving us these, I don't know that they want you to remove them, but we've got some removable crust brackets on the uh, frame mount. So those simply unbolt, we've unbolted that. Um, I still could tuck this inner fender back quite a bit as well. Um, doesn't really need it. We maybe touched a little bit at full compression. The front, we cut a little more than most probably will and a little more than we actually needed to. I was just wanted to play around with some, uh, some different angles, gain some clearance here. Uh, but you will likely need to trim a little bit off this corner on the factory bumper. We took about four inches off here, four or five inches. Uh, Expose that tire a bit and I think it looks, looks nice. All right, so we did, we did remove the factory mud flaps. Not 100% sure if that was, that was totally necessary or not, but I do believe it will be to actually fit this on there. In the rear, we really did nothing at all but remove the mud flap. So, and I don't think you'd even need to do that. When we flexed this out, we still had a ton of room, both front and back, and we had, we were not quiet on the bump, maybe a little bit more. You'd really need to get it X up to get full articulation, but I still had a good inch of clearance and in the, uh, photos you'll see that this tire is tucking up into this wheel well so again that comes back to having the proper uh, tire size wheel offset another question we keep getting asked is what are we going to do with this vehicle what are we going to build for it so uh, to start this one will be done in kind of two stages so the first stage will be for our customers kind of for the masses we don't expect many to build them out in the way we plan to build this one in the second phase so what that will include is first off we're going to start with a, a roof rack similar to our other styles a uh, nice step slider. Toyota's made it, looks like they've made it very easy to add a slider. We've got factory bolt holes in the frame. Uh, coming around to the front, we've already pulled it apart. We've scanned it. It's going to be a tricky one. There's a lot of bits and pieces on this front end, a lot of weird lines. Um, none of them come apart in a way that really makes sense. So I, I do think that's a bit of a bummer for the aftermarket, but we will be doing a high clearance bumper as high as we can get without major modifications. Um, rear, we will be doing a high clearance bumper as well. Not too bad in the rear. I think we got, I think we can work with this pretty good. I'm a little bummed about the, the lower hitch receiver. Not too much we can do about that. It is welded into the frame. Um, dual swing outs, everything will be similar in style to, to our current offerings. Um, but after all that's done, after we have that product, um, somewhat designed, we're gonna move on to stage two of our build, and we're gonna try and build this one into a rock crawler. So this one's getting uh, extreme clearance, which again, I don't think many are gonna wanna do. If you do, let us know. Um, that will require cutting the frame, cutting the cross member, tucking that bumper up. Uh, sliders will be the same. Those will be the same for this build, plus what we offer. Roof rack will be the same. Front bumper, we're actually going to, we're gonna lose all of this plastic. So we'll maintain the grill. Um, we'll be cutting a lot of fender out here, which is gonna help tremendously with fitting the 38s. 
Um, again, I do anticipate that requiring a good amount of, of modifications to do so, um, but it's gonna look pretty killer, killer when we're done. So excited to get going on it and uh, see what you guys think. <laughs>